popular demand, this is a mushroom that I have finally got my hands onto. It's been a difficult journey as I've been searching for it far and wide. So you may already know I am a fan of psilocybin and I have been for a long time using it medicinally to deal with so many different uh, psychological issues. Life is hard for everybody. So that much I understand in, in varying degrees. So I want to dive into this new mushroom or old mushroom, however way you want to look at it. But for a lot of people, it's new. For some of you, you may have heard of it. But what I understand is that it's legal in all states for the most part. Um, and for many people who have heard about the benefits of psilocybin for depression, for anxiety, and many other uh, psychological issues like PTSD, um, getting a hold of psilocybin is very, very difficult for many people. This is the alternative, and it's one of the reasons why it's blowing up. My name is Mike. Every week I discuss topics that I care about. Hopefully you find them of value as well. Today's Daily Dose is partly brought to you by Grass Door. Cannabis delivery made simple. Save a whopping 40% on your first purchase. Just use the code DAILY at checkout. There are more links in the description below where you can discover some of the other uh, content relating to this specific mushroom, as well as uh, links that can help support the channel if you want to do so. So today I'm going to dive into this extraordinary mushroom called Amanita. It's also um, quite beneficial in many ways, and um, I'll talk about that. In this video, we're going to uncover the therapeutic uh, properties and its potential to impact mental and physical well-being. So let's discover this together, the unique mushroom that can stimulate creativity, enhance focus, concentration, and promote a sense of relaxation and tranquility. This captivating mushroom and uh, with its vibrant red cap adorned with white spots, it's been a fascination um, across many cultures worldwide. Despite its association with fairy tales and folklore, um, I can say it possesses numerous benefits and I have tried this. It's not exactly like psilocybin, but um, close enough, especially for those who want access to something now and don't want to wait. So let's look at the history specifically. Um, it's been revered and respected for its profound symbolism and ceremonial usage. It's indigenous um, in the tribes of Siberia to the Vikings of Northern Europe, and this mushroom has played a a uh, central role in spiritual and cultural practices. Much like any other uh, plant-based substance, it could be ayahuasca, it could be psilocybin, it could be, um, I want to say, uh, what's the other one? Uh, the various types of cacti that are out there. So anyways, before its enchanting allure, um, Amanita possesses remarkable healing properties, it contains a diverse array of compounds that exhibit anti-inflammatory, analgesic, and antioxidant effects. Its potential in alleviating pain, reducing inflammation, and supporting immune functions has caught the attention of modern researchers. So this is why the therapeutic applications are being explored, and it's great that um, we can uh, use it without any type of um, criminal implications. You can use it. You may possess it. Um, oftentimes, even if you were caught with it, I don't think law enforcement would even know what they're looking at necessarily, giving you the opportunity to maybe educate them for the first time. So unlocking creativity and inspiration with Amanita. For artists, writers, and seekers of inspiration, it holds a special allure, and its uh, consumption has been associated with enhancing creativity, an unbounded imagination, and the ability to tap into the depths of your artistic potential. As the mind expands under the influence of this magical mushroom, barriers dissolve and new realms of artistic expression unfold. So much like psilocybin allows you to dive deep into yourself, this can help do something very similar. And um, let's face it, in today's day and age, uh, more creative works are likely to be um, all we have left. 
As you may already be aware, there's a lot of layoffs across the country, large corporations just laying people off in mass. So what do we have left? Essentially, all we have left is creative works to, uh, to educate each other, to entertain each other um, through anything that's creative, whatever it may be. So let's talk about expanding consciousness and spiritual awakening, as this is um, very powerful and something that many of us are looking for. Uh, as I said in the beginning of the episode, life is fucking hard for everybody in varying degrees. There's so many ups and downs. And when you have so much uh, trauma, whether it's from your uh, younger years or um, in your later years, it oftentimes holds us back from our full potential. I mean, that is the reality. It holds us back. Um, fear, uncertainty, doubt, fear of judgment, all of these things. Well, through psilocybin, I have learned that I can break away from these barriers, these things that hold me back. It's in fact helped me create content like what you see today, because in the beginning it was hard. You know, let's rewind a year or two years before and look at my content then. It wasn't great. And thankfully, because I stay with it, I continue to do it, it does improve. So for all of you that just recently subscribed, thank you. I really appreciate the opportunity. And um, I appreciate that uh, people are wanting to listen and to learn about anything that it is I'm talking about these days. So expanding conscious, uh, consciousness, right? It has been revered as a catalyst for expanding consciousness and spiritual awakening when consumed responsibly um, and with the utmost reverence, it can open doors to profound insights, heightened intuition, and a deep sense of interconnectedness with the universe. Many describe this uh, transformative experience to personal growth, self-reflection, and spiritual enlightenment. That is, to really sum it up, the truth is, is that I have experienced all these things with psilocybin, and it it, it makes me really excited because over the years as I've produced content about psilocybin, the comment sections are crazy, uh, like in a good way, not in a bad way. People just asking like, where do I get this? I've dealt with depression from all of my life and I'm just sick and tired of feeling this way and I want to break free of it. And I heard this can work. Where do I find it? Well, psilocybin to this day is still outlawed in many states, but it's kind of moving along slowly in the right direction as the studies are showing it does help people. Though, yes, it's mildly poisonous um, in small doses and used responsibly, like you can make breakthroughs much like I have. So it makes me excited that there's something like Omnita available that has similar properties and is available now. You don't have to scour, you know, your town or your city trying to find a source. There's um, facilities that are working on the extraction and the production of um, Amanita extracts. And there's various different products that are out there now. I even found some on Amazon. I was actually really surprised that uh, Amazon had it. Oftentimes when I've looked for products like this and I find on Amazon, when I click through I realized they've already removed that listing. So that does happen uh, from time to time where products kind of just slip on by um, because uh, they do have rules and regulations and guidelines of what you can and cannot sell on their platform regardless of uh, the legalities of it. So again, very excited about this. And I wanted to share with you guys just this remarkable mushroom that is coming up in the world. People are discovering it for the first time. And hopefully, if you think this is right for you, you can explore this responsibly and gauge how well it's working for you. What do you guys think? If you've ever used Amanita before, leave them in the comment section below so it can help others kind of get an idea of what this um, may feel like, how it works, what it did for you, etc. I'll catch you guys on the next one.